Hey guys, it's Bando. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, we arrived at this place and we got a lot of story elements just dumped on us. And this part, we get more story elements. Yeah! So Barrett's like, I oh, get it! Tifa, were you waiting outside then? Yes. We returned to Nightmare Sephiroth confined himself to the inn. He didn't even try to talk to me. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared, right? We found him inside the biggest building in Nightblood. The villagers used to call it the Shinra Mansion. Long ago, people from Shinra used to live in that mansion. Whoop. What's going on? What's going on? Turning. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I wonder what's going on with the Sephiroth kid. Seriously, he's just, he's just a fancy bloke. Fancy bloke does the pose. Okay. And this totally looks like he's right in front of this mansion. It looks like he's a story tall. Oh, I'm gonna explore. Press. Press the use button on anything. You'll find what a, okay, I, I'm assuming. Is he gonna be down here? <laughs> Is this gonna pull Mario 64 on me? It's a piano. Well, I don't know what my left button does, but apparently it does stuff. I don't know what any of these buttons are mapped to. I somehow open up the menu. Get, get out of the menu. I love functioning pianos. They're my favorite. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so thank you guys for watching this. If you are one of those people who's like, Oh, no, 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 I'm spending time playing Titanfall. I don't understand what's so big about Titanfall. I understand it's like giant robots, sure, but... I don't see exactly what's so revolutionary about it. Why is this game getting so many, like, Game of the Year awards? I'm not saying it's a bad game, I've never really played it, so I don't really, I can't really judge it for gameplay. But it's just like, I don't really see what's good about it. Compared to games like Call of Duty, which is even by Respawn Interactive, it's just like, yeah, sure. Because aren't, aren't they making Call of Duty? Or at least one of the Call of Duties. You got Infinity Ward, Treyarch, there's no sign. There's no sign of Sephiroth, but I know I will soon go into this room. Oh, sorry, that guy said, he's like, There's no sign of Sephiroth, I'm just sorry I didn't go in this room. So yeah, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't see, I don't really know, like, what Titanfall is that a shooter isn't. And I get the parkour. Oh, yep, knew it. Whee! I love that kind of stuff. So, if anyone in the comments has, like, played Titanfall and loves it to heck, please tell me what is so good about it compared to other shooters. Particularly more other shooters of this time. Although, if you want to compare it to, like, Quake 3, sure. Whoa. An apparently dead organism was found in 2,000-year-old geological strata. Um. Uh. Excuse me, good sir. You're apparently being very smart in front of me. I can't move. Oh. Professor Gass named that organism Genova. X year, X month, X day. Genova confirmed to be an ancient. X year, X month, X day. Genova project approved. Use of Maker Reactor 1 approved for use. Oh, there's some massive thunder going on outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Oh, what an artsy shot right there. That is... Oh, there's lightning. <laughs> if my computer just magically turns off, we all know. 
My mother's name is Genova. Genova Project. Is this just a coincidence? I feel like I should be using a deeper voice. Professor Gas, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? I feel like this guy is actually very troubled. Excuse me, Mr. Sephiroth. Do you mind continuing the story for me? Oh, I gotta keep going after him. Let me be alone. I'm gonna keep going if you don't mind. <laughs> Woo! Look at this library. This is books. Jars. I like the little glow in the light. There's nothing that I can really press on in here. Nothing at all. Sephiroth, you sure? I like I can still walk around even when that light is gone. Alright. What well, can cheer up a spirit of a white haired teenager? Sephiroth didn't come out of the Shinra Mansion. Oh. I have a weird fade effect if you don't if I say so myself. He continued to read as if he were possessed by something, and not once did the light in the basement go out. So the question is, why did they ask me to do a two-parter on this? <laughs> Cloud, you sleeping in the mansion? Good on you. Good on you, Cloud. Oh, that's a massive thunder. Jeez. Can I still play on the piano? This, this music sounds like something bad is going to happen. Zephyroth seems different. No, no, he's not different. I'm gonna see if he's down here still. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Sephiroth, are you in the dark? I'm surprised I didn't actually comment on this like purple area. That's locked, so it should be in here, right? <laughs> what? Who is it? <laughs> traitor. Traitor! You ignorant traitor. I'll tell you. This planet originally belonged to the Ketra. Ketra was an int uh, itinerant race. They would migrate in, sell the planet, and move on. At the end of their hard, long journey, it was said that they would find the promised land and supreme happiness. But those who disliked journeying appeared. They stopped their migrations, built shelters, and elected to lead an easier life. They took that which the plant, the, the catcher and the planet had made without giving back one wit in return. Those are your ancestors. Sephiroth. Long ago, disaster struck the planet. Your ancestors escaped. They survived because they hid. The planet was saved by sacrificing the catcher. After that, your ancestors continued to multiply. Now all that's left of the catcher is in these reports. What does that have to do with you? Don't you see? An ancient named Genova was found in a 2,000 year old geological stratum. The Genova Project. The Genova Project wanted to produce people with the powers of the ancients. Or the Ketra. I am what was produced. P -p produced <laughs> Oh, that's... That's awkward. Yes. Professor Gass, leader of the Genova Project and genius scientist, produced me. How? How, how did he? Zephyroth! Is going drunk and rage? Out of my way, I'm going to see my mother. Oh, oh I can still keep going. Wait. Wait, Mr. Sephiroth. I need you to continue the plot. Stop backstoring me. Story. You know, one thing with this game, there's a lot of dialogue. I'm, I'm, I really did think it would be a bit more like gameplay based, but no, there's a lot of story. I, I wouldn't, I won't mind it too much if the story does pay off. It's definitely building up to something. I'm guessing it's gonna have to go on outside. Oh crap! Jeez! Jeez! Lightning outside. Hey, it's you! You're still sane, right? Come over here and help me. Oh, jump that fire. Check this house. You check that one over there. Oh, that's a big light. 
dude just walked straight through the fire. Okay. Is that the house he meant, or there's no one in there? Alas, poor dead person. I didn't really know. Terrible. Zephyroth. This is too terrible. Oh no. I, I was about to say the story took a dark twist, but it kind of already has a couple of times. Oh. Oh. Somehow I found my way back here. What? Oh my gosh. It's Tifa. Climb that chain. Why did you call chains? Why? Uh, I guess I'm going up. See, I'm pushing up right now. That's really confusing. Sephiroth, did Sephiroth do this to you? Sephiroth, soldier, mega reactor, Shinra. I hate them all! Oh, she's got the sword. Oh, snap. This is either gonna be an epic boss battle or it's just gonna end this backstory. Mother, I'm here to see you. Please open this door. How could you do that to Papa and all the townspeople? Hey, maybe. Ah, oh, Tifa, you idiot. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she bounced down those stairs. That's the worst kind of falling. Right there. Yo, Tiefs. You, you promise. You promised that you'd come when I was in trouble. Dude, you got sword struck and you fell down a flight of stairs. You didn't even like fall down them. You literally bounced once down them. You flew over the flight of stairs. I think she's okay. She's blinking. She maybe like. I swear I turned off my steam and random stuff like that just <laughs> comes up. Yeah, good, good, solid. Oh, there's the whoa. That's a big drizzle going on outside. I'm sorry to break the flow of this, but holy snap. It was bright and sunny today as well. I'm recording us on the Saturday, so I know, like, time for this to be out for a while, but, eh. Mother, let's take the planet back together. I've thought of a great idea. Let's go to the promised land. Sephiroth. My family. My hometown. How could you do this to them? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> They've come again, Mother. With her superior power, knowledge, and magic, Mother was destined to become the ruler of this planet. But they... Those worthless creatures... Stealing the planet from Mother. But now I'm here with you. So don't worry. Dude, this is some system shock going on right now. It's just system shock came out after this. Sephiroth, you may be crazy, but you're also a lunatic. Ha! Ah, took the wrong one. What about my sadness? My family, friends, the sadness of having my hometown taken away from me. It's the same as your sadness. Oh, I don't know if there's any Jesus imagery going on. <laughs> My sadness? What do I have to be sad about? I am the chosen one. I have been chosen to be the leader of this planet. You just said your mother was the... Ch I didn't even know. I have orders to take the planet back from you stupid Petra from Ketra. What should I be sad about? Sephiroth, I trusted you. No, you're not the Sephiroth I used to know. 
Epic fight! Commence! 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 Ah, oh, the seizures! Ah, oh, gosh! <laughs> and that's the end of my story. Wait a damn minute! That's it? That's it? No more? I don't remember. What happened to Sephiroth? In terms of skill, I couldn't have killed him. Official records say Sephiroth is dead. I read it in the newspaper. Shinra Inc. owns the newspaper, so you can't rely on that. I want to know the truth. I want to know what happened. I challenged Sephiroth to live. Why didn't he kill me? I'm alive too. A lot of this doesn't make sense. What about Genova? It was in the Shinra building, right? Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone carry it out later? It was missing from the Shinra building. Sephiroth. That, that storm is huge. Damn, none of this makes sense. I'm going, 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 gone, and I'm leaving the thing to you. Up, oh, Barrett. Yo, Cloud, let's get a move on. I'm, I'm gonna go with Barrett on this one. Yo, come on, let's go. Unless that was a party swap, in which case, dang it. Oh, brother. Cloud, how bad was I after Sephiroth stabbed me? I was more like a slash. I thought you were gonna. I was so sad. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have acted like... Hi. Hi to the ancients, Ketra, Genova, Sephiroth, and myself. Let's go. Barrett's waiting. <laughs> Red 13's just like, What a fascinating story. <laughs> I, I knew Red 13 would have, like, no part in that. <laughs> and buddy's downstairs. Okay. Oh, Cloud, let me give you this. A PHS. post hormatic stress. Hormatic? Oh, it's a party structure. PHS will put PHS will put us in constant contact with each other. I'm going on ahead. Oh, that storm is ridiculous! It just came out of nowhere. I saw this blue skies. Literally 17. Mi no, no, don't charge me money. Listen to me. Just now, some guy in a black coat walked east towards that grassy field. He got this killer sword. It looks real scary. Okay, sure. Do this, huh? You know a few things you should know when you come in handy. When you travel around the world. Want to hear what they are? Then let me explain how to- Oh, jeez! Change the camera angle, actually. I, 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 um... I was trying to get my controller to work and it wasn't doing it. Well, oh, that... I don't know if that's picking up, but there's a huge storm outside, jeez. Uh, I, I was... Apparently, that's a camera button. Like, I, I hadn't known that there was a camera button. I was... Ride things by pressing assist. You can't dash on the world map. Chocobos will run away. Oh, that's it. Okay, what do you have to say? So, yeah. So, I don't want to end this part off right now because... We just kind of... <laughs> you're pretty smart. I, I don't want to end this part off right now just because it is... Posh... I, I've kind of spent the last two parts literally just doing story elements. And granted, that was a long story element. Am I going anywhere in particular? So I found out that I think, like... There's one... There's a button somewhere. S. It changes the camera angle to this kind of perspective. And... As you're moving around, it actually turns with you. Or you can just do it like that if you wanna. The question is, I don't know if we're... I don't think I've mapped a camera button, which I really need to do. Um, I'm assuming there's an item shop? Shop? Yo, there's the item store. It's not even looking at me. Uh... It's really confusing, I mapped my A button. Okay, so I've got a PHS button. I'm assuming that only works in the world now. There you go, that's the entire main menu. What about you? There's the weapon store. Okay, what can I buy? Let's see, I can buy a Mithril Claw. It's a bit better. I can buy a bunch of stuff. I don't know if Cloud's actually able to hold that, or whether that's just a cannonball. I will buy one of these, one of these, one of these. I'll buy one of these as well. And I 
guess I'll equip the stuff and then I'll sell it. Oh, my phone battery's dying, so there's a plus. The plus? I don't even know. Okay, so let's see, let's equip on cloud. Is there gonna be a huge thing? Oh, I can't equip that. Alright, I couldn't unequip the Buster Sword for the longest time, I don't know why. Again with the thing, I don't even know. I don't have any material, so I'm gonna do it a bit later. Eris will use the Full Metal Staff, which is a lot better. Uh, Barret will use the Cannonball. Which is good. I don't have anyone else on the party, so I'm just gonna hold on to the items for now. So uh, there's a better place to sell them. So the I, I want to know, like, what exactly am I supposed to do? We will like just like let's. Are we going back to Midgar? I, I guess we are. I don't really know. Yeah. Why did I? Yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. It also wants me to kind of go east. Why does it want me to go east? East is that way. I don't really need to go that way. Ah, the good old 90s camera angle. If I keep pushing down, it's not gonna change. Because Midgar's right here. Am I allowed to go in, or is that no? Also, that, I am slanted beyond belief. I guess I'm not supposed to go in. So, the question, <laughs> the camera. The question is, where am I supposed to go? I, I guess I'll go to that dot over there. I don't have a healer on my team, do I? Oh, no, no, I had Eris. Also, why is a world map? I found that, uh, one of the buttons at least. There we go, I got Eris as a healer, so it's all okay. Uh... Oh, well... Bio, this purple thing. Uh, Barrett can Bio. Yeah, Barrett, you can just kind of attack him. Uh, Eris, you can... Just hit him. I want to see how much hitting him with the sword. Also, Barrett, did you just slap him rather than actually hit him? 27 is actually okay for Eris. Body blow! Actually, Barrett, just steal. I want to see like, what exactly it does. Where, what are these things? I want to know. Calm Fang C has 160 health and is weak against fire. Oh, well, I don't fire as much as I Smack it! So I, I'm not shooting it, so I can't attack over the distance. Which can't suck. So I shouldn't sell the Gatling gun. Also, Cloud, you're so close to that level up, it's ridiculous. Okay, so apparently the Y button brings up a map, which you can hover over the entire screen. So basically, I can't really go anywhere except for uh, this place over here. I may as well turn the camera back. Nah, I don't think I will. I don't need to do it. Ah! 12 damage, oh no! We gotta have a part with at least some battling, because it wasn't any battling. I don't know for these things. Barrett, good job tanking. Keep tanking, Cloud, though. Prowler A has 150 health. Alright. Um, if he steals items, it's gonna be trickish. Oh, smack crit! Healing went seal evil. I'm gonna try that. Oh, he's gone. Feel that evil. I'm guessing that... Does that mean he's frozen, or does that mean he just can't do magic? Because sometimes... Because I remember playing Dragon Quest and getting, like, muted. And that meant that you can't do any magic. Oh, I'm guessing the other guy's gone. Okay, sure. That means Cloud's gonna level up. Okay. So, in terms of choosing favorites, I'm going to go to the menu and I'm going to press PHS, post... That was annoying. Oh, it's the phone. Okay, sure. See, the thing is that Red 13 is level 15. And Tifa's level 14. I do want to raise Eris, because I feel like she is an important healer, and I really do want to get a like, high-level healer, just so I don't have to worry about anything, really. Let's see, here's a town. Also, is the world pulling like an Animal Crossing where it's like, raising? Oh, 
boy, this is gonna be interesting. Why does Barrett have bio? Clearly, that's worth it. Eris sends one of these. Actually, I want to see if he can steal one. Whoa. These guys are very resistant. I'm gonna guess they've got really low health. 120? What are they weak against? What are they weak against? I'm gonna say ice? Mine, bro! Eris, can you do something? Please? Mind, bro! Oh yeah, that was MP. I forgot. It's been like a month since I've recorded last. Why are these guys, like, taking so much damage? Ah! I have slow dance, takes forever. Okay, well it's not ice, so it must be fire? I already did fire. Oh, there's a, there's a damage. There is a damage. Why are, also, why are they all attacking Barrett of all people? I guess it's just melee attacks seem to do quite a bit of damage, so... Oh, yeah. There you go. All it! It's all or nothing, baby. Barrett's still got a lot of health. Yeah, so melee attacks apparently do a lot of damage on these things, but not magic. But it didn't really say that magic. Also, that's like the first time that like Eris has actually gotten like a kill. This better give me a lot of a lot of experience. You know that wasn't as much of a lace and nut. What's that? What is a lace and nut? No, you know, that's a lot of money though. I'll tell you that. Well, anyway, we're in the town of whatever the heck this is. Whoa, jeez, chocobos. Look at them chocobos are dancing about. I'm gonna go in your house. My head's just like beeping like mad. Thinking of crossing the marshes? Yeah, sure. Hmm, they'll probably be safer for you to get a chocobo. That way you can zip through the marshes with a chocobo. It's the only way to avoid being attacked by the Midgard Zolom. Midgard Zolom? Oh, Midgard Zolom? It's a serpent-like creature over 30 feet tall. It detects the footsteps of anyone in the marshes. And then BAM! It attacks! To avoid that, buy a chocobo at me and Choco Billy's Chocobo Farm. To purchase a chocobo? Please talk to my grandson. He's in the chocobo stables at the far right end of the farm. Okay. You have a very love. Looking for an inn? No, I'm okay. <laughs> you got nice beds, I'll tell you that. Look at that. Look at that pattern. It's beautiful. Uh, so let's see if we can get a chocobo. Can I go up this ladder? Eventually, maybe. I can go behind the whole place. Ah, oh, I love the good old chocobos, let me tell you that. Yo, are you the grandson? Do you want a chocobo? Give me one! You old folks are out of luck! Oh, old folks! We're all out of chocobos. I'm taking care of the ones out there for someone else. You know, if you really want a chocobo, you should go out and catch one. Wanna know how to catch a chocobo? Okay, first of all, where are they? You see those claw prints out there? Wild chocobos will appear in those areas. But if they don't have chocobo lure, they won't come out. They're very cautious by nature. Chocobo lure is a type of material which attracts chocobos. If you equip this, they'll come to you, but without it, they won't appear. Wanna know how to catch a cho- okay. How do I catch one? Wild chocobo always appears with other monsters, but you won't be able to catch it because of the monsters. That's why you must defeat the monsters before you can catch a chocobo. And then... Wild chocobos are really cautious, they'll run away from the smallest things, but if you use greens... What's that? They'll focus on them and won't run away. Uh... What else? Whatever you do, don't make chocobos angry. They'll usually calm, but if you get them angry, you'll get hurt. Oh, remember, once you get off a chocobo, it'll escape. Oh, so I have to actually catch one myself, okay. That's jerkish. Jeez, that costs a lot. I'll get it. Oh, jeez, like, what kind of greens? I'll go with this one, I guess. Buy six of those. Okay. Whatever. Whatever you want. Wasn't it? Thank you. 
Oh, don't bring the blame game on this. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Jeez, it's just like, oh, I'm charging a lot. But my parents thought they'd do it. Okay, you gotta make a living. It's just like, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you guys next time on Final Fantasy VII Blind, when we'll continue on. Maybe we'll get a chocobo, maybe we won't, maybe we'll fail a lot, maybe we won't, maybe we will continue, maybe we won't, maybe we will, I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. See you then.